Again, today we're looking at Daniel Kaufman's question about making our own commands for our scripts, for our shell. And last time we looked at the alias command, which is good for simple things. And today we're going to be looking at using functions uh, in that place. And in fact, you can put functions into aliases as well. But uh, last time we talked about your RC file. So let me go ahead and just use bash since most of you are probably using bash. And I'm going to, in my home directory, bash.bashrc, I have a file here that loads my settings for my bash uh, file, uh, bash shell. And in here, I can now create functions. So I can say function do stuff. And then I can create a function here. And I can have it just, I'll just tell it to echo some stuff. Some stuff, echo more stuff, echo this stuff, and then I'll just say if config config um, ETHO grep uh, init space. And then I should be able to do awk print dollar sign two should be what I need. And this is something I've gone over in a previous tutorial. That's just a command that should, if I typed it right, grab my IP address. In fact, I'll even say echo dash n for no new line. Your IP is now, if I did that properly now, I can type do stuff here and nothing's going to happen. It's going to tell me that there's an error that that command does not exist because I haven't started a new session and the bash RC file runs at the beginning of my session. So if I open a new window and start bash or if I started bash up in this window, now I should be able to type in do stuff. Whoops. Do stuff. And I can even tab complete. And if I hit enter, it runs those that full function. Some stuff, more stuff, this stuff, your IP is, and there's my IP address in my local network. Uh, so, you can use your bash rc file to create commands or run commands at startup, and in this case we're creating a function. So you can have a bunch of functions that you use regularly in your bash rc file as, as well as um, aliases. And what's great about this is it's one file that you can save somewhere, and if you uh, reformat your system, you can just copy that one file over and all your settings are there. Uh, and you can have short commands that run basically list of commands, similar to a script, uh, but without uh, having a bunch of script files. But now in the next video in this series, we are going to go over where to place script files for system-wide use. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. It's kind of short. Again, that was your .bashrc file. Don't forget the .dot because that's a hidden file name, and that's what your bash uh, interface is going to be looking for on startup. So that's dot bash RC, all lowercase. If you're using Z shell, it's dot Z S H R C. Uh, and other shells are similar depending on your shell, but it should be dot something RC. And, um, any of your startup stuff can go in there. And anytime you start a new shell, it will run th those, uh, that script and load up whatever settings you have in there, including functions and aliases. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, hope you found it useful, and I hope that you keep on watching. Be sure to check out the playlist in the description of this video. This has been part of a playlist. There's lots of videos before this, and there'll be plenty after in the coming weeks. So I hope that you're enjoying this, and I hope that if you uh, did, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.